do you have everything you need to maintain your mower? Here's a list of 12 items that I frequently reach for throughout the mowing season. More like a baker's dozen. Stay tuned for a bonus item at the end of the video. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Let's start off with the most important component of your lawnmower, the engine. If your engine ain't running, you ain't mowing. And the best way to keep your engine running year after year is to change the oil. So having some extra oil on hand is a smart move. Now what kind do you need and what brand is best? This can vary from mower to mower. And personal preference. Well, it's best to consult your owner's manual and see what's required for your specific engine. In my experience, for the average homeowner, you usually can't go wrong with 5W30 full synthetic. It performs well in most small engines, and if you're curious about different brands of oil, I run Supertech 5W30 full synthetic. It's cheap, it's readily available, and it outperforms Mobile One in some videos here on YouTube. And I've been using it in all my machines for well over a decade without a single issue. Buying a big five quart jug like this will save you money and last you quite a while depending on how many machines you're caring for. Remember, oil is cheap, Engines are expensive, change your oil. Number two, air filters. Just like you, your engine needs to breathe clean air. And it's important for proper combustion processes inside your engine. You should check these out at least once a season and swap them out if necessary. Typically, I like to buy these in bulk. If you go to buy a single air filter at the big box store, they tend to mark them up quite a bit. They just love doing that. I can usually get two or three of them for the cost of one. I'll have some common lawnmower air filters linked down below in the description, as well as all the items that we're discussing here in this video. Now for number three, we're still talking about the engine here, specifically carburetor parts. Floats, bowls, seals, even complete carburetors ready to go can make tune-ups and repairs a breeze. I've got a lot here, maybe too many. Hey, you never know when you're gonna need something. And you may not need them for a while, but when you do, you'll be ready. You can usually get these parts super cheap depending on where you look. And if your mower's ever not running smoothly, you can just simply swap the parts out and get back quick to mowing. And to help this video keep running smoothly with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind hitting that like button? Thank you. Number four, a good gas can. Or if you're like me, several. Now, I personally hate most gas cans out there today. Many new ones have really wonky designs thanks to certain regulations, and that can actually make you leak or spill more gas in the process. I'm a big fan of these old style gas cans, and it's a rare day when I spill gas. They're vented, so they pour better, and I've seen these go for a pretty penny out on eBay, but I bought these for five bucks a piece at a local yard sale. I got them years ago, cleaned them out really quick, and they've been great. This one over here had a lousy spout on it, so what I did is I went on Amazon and I bought a spout replacement kit that actually came with some vents too. You can usually get them in a three pack for pretty cheap. They come with the old style spouts and the vent inserts, and all you gotta do is drill a hole, pop the vent in, and you're good to go. Now, if your lawnmower has the ability to go with a self-propelled drive system, then you'll probably wanna keep an extra belt on hand. Over time, belts can stretch, or tear. Now, for the average homeowner, these can take a long time to wear down or break on certain lawnmowers. But if you're mowing a few lawns a week, your belt life might be shorter than most. And on certain mowers, this could be a super easy swap out. Take the old one off, pop the new one on. And speaking of popping a new one on, lawnmower blades. Having a spare blade on hand is helpful because you can pop the old blade off, pop the new one on right away, and then sharpen the other one when you have a moment. Now you can get a spare blade that's a direct match to your OEM blade and they're pretty inexpensive. Or you can elect to go with a more advanced blade that might be more durable and wear down a little more slowly. And some blades might also be better for mulching or bagging. Either way you slice it, having a spare on hand, is a smart decision. Now number seven, another item that I frequently reach for is my angle grinder to sharpen my lawnmower blades. Now I already know that this is a more controversial topic than Chipotle burritos or bowls. Comments are about to get heated. Burrito. Bowl. At least you can eat the burrito shell. You can't eat the bowl. Keeping your lawnmower blade sharp will help deliver a cleaner cut, prevent lawn disease, and make your mower more efficient. For decades, I would take off my blade, put it in my vise, and sharpen it with my angle grinder. But for a more accurate angle, I decided to get one of these blade sharpening tools. It locks your blade in place, and it locks your grinder in place, so that way you get a more consistent angle. This keeps your angle steady so that way you get a sharper blade. Now, I have about eight different lawnmower blades to sharpen throughout the season, so having a tool like this is super helpful for me. Again, this blade sharpening tool will be linked down below in the description. Now for number eight, this one kind of goes along with the last. A blade balancing tool. A blade that is 
out of balance can throw off your cut and create issues for your engine. Some like to do the old nail in the wall trick, but I picked this up super cheap. Find a level spot to put this on. For me, the only level spot that I have in this entire garage is this step right here going into the house. Every other part of my floor is shifted and tilted, and even because of that, my workbench is off. So this is my most level spot. This is where I check my blades. Now, once I put the blade on, if it's tilted or shifted to one side, like this side right here, this side is riding a little low. That means it's heavy so what I gotta do is I gotta shear a few more lengths of the blade off to equal out the weight pretty simple it's also a tool that doesn't take up a lot of space on your workbench either number nine now those razor sharp blades underneath can do a number on packing up clippings underneath your deck. That's where a deck scraper comes in. This one has rounded edges so it doesn't ding up your deck. Why would you do that to yourself? Ding up your deck. This tool has a nice flex to it so it can pull clumps of grass off with ease. This ultimately gets your deck cleaner, faster, with less scraping. If you're interested in learning how to clean your deck the right way, I'll have that video linked down below in the description. Number 10. Now, if you just cleaned your mower and you hosed it out underneath, chances are good it's gonna drip. If you wanna keep your garage floor clean and dry, you'll wanna grab a mat like this. Now, I originally bought this mat to catch all the snow that would melt off of my snow blowers in the wintertime. Now, forgive me that it's a little dirty. We're not at that phase of spring cleaning here yet, but that's kind of exactly my point. It prevents all this dirt and grime from making its way onto my floor. This way, the floor stays cleaner longer. Next up for number 11, is red and tacky grease. I use this grease in my lawnmower wheels and I found that doing this once a year helps prevent premature wear to the wheels and helps protect the bearings. I also have this same grease packed into a grease gun because I have some older mowers with some grease zerks that are right by the drive wheels. Now those are a thing of the past, aren't they? Better built mowers back in the day had them. It's a good idea to keep these lubed up to prevent wear. Now number 12 is fluid film. Now this is great for preventing rust and corrosion on your deck and on your handlebars. A little goes a long way helping to make your mower last. If you maybe have a rust spot on your deck Deck, spray a little on, wipe it thin, and you're good to go. This protects all metals and does a great job shining everything up. Now here is your baker's dozen bonus item. That's right, it's a leaf blower. Not only are these great for cleaning up your yard and maybe some leaves in the fall, but I use this after every single mow to clean up any clippings or shredded leaves that may have made their way up onto the mower. They're great for getting all the extra mower dust that might have gotten hung up in your mower bag too. And they make drying your lawnmower off a breeze after you wash it. I use this leaf blower to clean off my mower every single time I mow. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.